Finding an adventurous league game online can be an extremely difficult task for newcomers. So here, I present you with seven discords that have consistent games on a set schedule, with wonderful dungeon masters and an equally amazing community. While there are a lot more than these seven discords which offer AL games, these are the ones that I have played in since August of 2020. I can personally vouch for the consistency of their schedule. I'd like to stress that AL games are free. You should never have to pay to join a game. That being said, there are paid AL games, and I would like to differentiate between them. Paid DMing. In this type, you cannot join the game at all unless you pay in advance per game. Free, but supported by donations. All games are free, but donating or being a Patreon of the particular Discord in question can, not always, give you extra perks, such as early access signups to games before everyone else. Events and conventions, or cons. These are similar in nature to things such as Comic Con and Anime Expo, large gatherings of people all in interest of sharing your passion. D&D. D&D cons share two things in common. They are almost always paid and have either the full or partial endorsement of Wizards of the Coast. So what does that mean for you? When you pay to play in a con, you help support the organizers and dungeon masters who make the event happen. Cons are also where epics, D&D's equivalent of raiding, happen. Yes, D&D has raids. More on this later. In alphabetical order, here are the seven discords in which you can find an Adventurer's League game. Bald Man Games Run by David Christ, BMG is an official Wizards of the Coast partner. BMG has a monthly event called Virtual D&D Weekends. The start date changes every month, but it always begins on a Friday and ends on Sunday of the same weekend. Virtual D&D Weekend tickets goes on sale noon Eastern, 10 days before the event starts. The price of each game in this event can vary, but can be as low as $4 to no higher than 15 In order to join virtual D&D weekends, first join the official BMG Discord. Link in the description below. Before you can access the rest of the Discord, you have to read and agree to rules found in the channel Code of Conduct. Uh, it'll be a moment for it to load here. There we go. It's uh, loaded now, so once you've read it all, click this emoji right here. We're not done yet. We need to agree to the rules found in one more channel, Server Rules. Once you've read that as well, go ahead and click this emoji right here. You should now have access to the rest of the server. What you're looking for will be in the channel called Announcements. Virtual D&D weekends are currently on hold for other special events, but normally you would look for a little blurb like this, where Spencer announced signups for Virtual D&D Weekend back in August. For now though, this month's Virtual D&D Weekend has been replaced by D&D Celebration 2021, which is functionally the same thing for our purpose. The link to that event will be found in the description of my video below. The first thing you'll want to do is click Join Us. If you already have a Wizards account, and this is your first time here, it will ask you to authorize Yawning Portal to access your account. If you don't have a Wizards account already, you'll see this screen instead. This tutorial assumes you don't already have a Wizards account, so go ahead and click Register. Enter your info. When done, you'll arrive at this screen. Go ahead and click Authorize. 
Now we can finally look for games. And this here is the list of upcoming games for D&D Celebration 2021. Lots of games are unfortunately sold out, and some are bugged and not displaying the sold out tags properly. Table 227, however, I know works properly. We can see here that the game is called Lost Things, run by DM Matt Lane at table number 227 on Discord. It costs $8 USD to join, starts at 4.30 p.m. Eastern on Thursday, September 23rd, and is designed to be a two-hour adventure. Let's click on Real Details. And this is where we'll be able to order a ticket to join the game. After you purchase your ticket, you'll receive an email with a link to join a one-off Discord created just for this event. In this case, the server is called D&D Celebration Player Server. Once at this new server, click Complete at the top. Read through the code of conduct, and when you're ready, click I have read and agreed to the rules, then submit. One more thing. Go to the channel titled Getting Started. Once you're done reading everything here, click this emoji here. You can access the rest of the server again. The channels where the games happen aren't up yet, but when they are, they'll be listed in alphabetical order based on the DM's last name. Our DM's name is Matt Lane, so we'd be looking for L. Citadel Geek. Citadel Geek is a community organization and offshoot of Geeks United, both based out of Toronto, Canada. But with the events of 2020, now have members worldwide. They run games every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern and use a third-party website called Meetup for signups, but are willing to accept people who forget to by using their Discord channel titled Standby Check-In. All of their games are absolutely free of charge and tend to focus on a particular story arc from beginning to end. Oh, did I forget to mention? AEL has different story arcs, or seasons as they call it, just like a TV series. They're currently wrapping up on season 10, titled Plague of the Agents. Season 11 is due out this September. To access Citadel Geek, visit their website, link in the description below. Scroll all the way down and click Discord. Before you can access the rest of the Discord, you have to click Complete at the top. Read through the Code of Conduct, and when you're ready, click I have read and agreed to the rules. Then, submit. One more thing. Go to the channel titled Getting Started. Once you're done reading everything here, click this emoji right here. You can access the rest of the server now. You're now going to want to go back to the Citadel Geek website. Scroll all the way back down to the bottom if you're not there already. And this time, click on Meetup. If you don't already have a Meetup account, the first thing you're going to want to do is create one. So click on Sign Up. Meetup has integration with Facebook, Gmail, and Apple. So if you have one of those, it's a much faster process. In my case, I'm going with Gmail. Here you can see it already pulled information from my Gmail. So all I need to do now is click continue. You can upload an avatar, or skip for now. This part is not skippable. So if you want to customize it to your liking, go ahead. For the purpose of this video though, I'm picking something else. This part is not skippable either. And I'm just gonna pick tech. And then next. 
next again. At this point, we can close out this tab and go back to the Citadel Geek main website. Scroll to the bottom again, if you're not there already, and click on Meetup again. Now that we've created a Meetup account, we can finally start looking for games and sign up for them. If not for one slight wrinkle, we have to click Request to Join and wait for the owner of this Meetup group to manually approve us simply joining them. It's not as bad as it sounds though. You can just go to the Citadel Geek Discord channel titled Ask an Admin and just say, Hey, I'm so-and-so on Meetup. Can you approve me so I can sign up for games? And they should get back to you quickly. Now we can start looking for games. Scrolling down a bit, we can see here that this is an AL game meant for Tier 1. The game is on Thursday, September 16th at 6 p.m. Eastern. So let's click Attend. Unfortunately, there are zero spots left for this game, so we'll have to join the waitlist for now. We're not bringing anyone, so just leave that at zero and hit submit. It now says that we're on the waitlist, but that's okay. On the day of the game, go to their Discord channel titled Standby Check-In. Here, you can just simply tell them that you're on the waitlist for a Tier 1 game. And if they have any open spots for you, they should get back to you shortly. If you manage to get a spot instead, on the day of the game, check their Discord channel titled DDAO Announcements. Here, look for your name and you'll see which DM and room you've been assigned to. DWB RPG DWB RPG is an online community for tabletop gamers and holds a special place in my heart as the very first Discord I joined for Adventurers League. They even have a Twitch and YouTube, which you can check out in the description below. DWB games are completely random and are on a first come, first serve basis. Competition is fierce to get a spot in one of these games, as spots can fill within minutes of being posted. On the plus side though, all signups are done via Discord so you don't have to deal with the hassle of registering with a third-party website. To get started, join DWB's Discord at the link below. That's it! You can start looking for games already. Unlike most Discords, you don't have to click an emoji to show that you've read the rules to access the rest of the server. But you still really should. So it's located here at the channel titled Welcome. After you've read the rules, scroll down to the channel title Historic AL Listings. Here, you can see a listing for all Historic Adventurers League games, including name of the adventure, who the DM is, and other important information. If you're new, we're looking for adventures marked as Tier 1 or T1, like this. We're now going to see what the DM wants from us in order to apply. If you have no clue what any of this is, D&D Beyond or Roll20, you can still reach out to the DM via private message and simply tell them you're new. They'll most likely refer you to a mentor to help you get you on your feet. Excelsior Comics and Games Excelsior is a community center and hobby shop based out of Maynard, Massachusetts. They run games every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern, typically last two hours, and signups are done a week in advance on a third-party website called Warhorn. Out of all the discords on this list, Excelsior is the only one that offers in-person games. So if you're near Maynard, go check them out at their shop called Excelsior Comics and Games located across from Murphy Snyder Printers on the corner of Waltham and Parker Street. To get started, join Excelsior's Discord at the link below. Before you can access the rest of the Discord, 
you have to read and agree to rules found in a channel, server rules. Once you've read it all, click this emoji here. You now want to head over to the channel titled Choose Server Roles. And click this emoji here on the far left to denote that you are an AL player. Now scroll down to the channel titled Adventurers League. Look for a post similar to this one here. Next week's games are now live. And click on the link to Warhorn. If this is your first time using Warhorn, you're going to need to make an account first. So click sign up at the top right. Warhorn has integration with Facebook. So if you have that, it's a much faster process. In my case, I'm going with old fashioned email. I recommend using the same name as your Discord handle under name. Click create account when done. Confirm your email address by clicking this up here. Go to your email provider of choice, confirm, and then come back here. Once you're done confirming, come back to this tab here. Press F5 to refresh your browser, and voila, now that reminder at the top will be gone. In Warhorn, each game is associated with an event or group. In order to sign up for a game, you have to first register with that event or group. This is in addition to the registration of Warhorn. Right now, we're on the event page for Excelsior Comics and Games, D&D 5e Adventures League. So let's register for this event by right-clicking the register button and choose Open Link in New Tab, or the equivalent of whatever browser you're using to make things faster. Go to the New Tab, click the blue register button at the bottom left. It should now say you're cleared for signups, in which case you can safely close out this tab. Back here, we can now press F5 one last time. And now, you should see your status change to Registered at the top right. With this, we can start looking for games. Click Schedule over at the top right. And in the new drop down menu that appears, choose Agenda. If you live nearby them, you can try one of their in person games. Signups for in persons still go through Warhorn though. If you're brand new to AL, you're looking for games that are levels 1 through 4. It looks like all the levels 1 through 4 games are in person only. So for the purpose of this video, let's click this online game here, even though it's for levels 5 through 10, just so you know how to sign up for games in the future. Here, we see more information about the game, Fester and Burn. It's a tier 2 game on Monday, September 13th at 4pm Pacific, run by DM David Camacho, with 6 people confirmed and three in the waitlist. For now, let's click Join Player Waitlist. In the new window that pops up, scroll down and click the blue Save button. Scroll all the way down, and yes, that's my alt account, blow up by DMs. You'll now see that we've joined the waitlist for this game. Trident. Trident is an online community which had its origins in Italy, but is now based out of Newcastle, England. To get started, join Trident's Discord at the link below. Before you can access the rest of the Discord, you have to read and agree to rules found in the channel, Rows and Rules. Once you've read it all, click this emoji here. Scroll down to the Select Your Role section. And choose this emoji here to mark you as a player. And then choose this emoji here to mark you as AL. 
In the player FAQ section, click their Warhorn link. Here, you can see more info about Trident. All their games are free, but they do have a Patreon which comes with extra perks, like early access to signups for games and skipping the waitlist. For now, register for Trident just like you did with Excelsior. You can't click register right now because Trident requires one extra step, connecting your Discord account to Warhorn. So go ahead and click connect to Discord. When you get to this screen, click authorize. And now we can click register. Now that we've registered and refreshed our tab here, go to Schedule, click and choose Agenda. Unfortunately, it looks like all of their games are full, even the higher level ones. But for now, let's click on this game right here, Lost Mine of Found Delver. Just like with Excelsior, we can see more information about this game. Lost Mine of Fandelver on Wednesday, September 15th at 4 p.m. Pacific with Darren 1 as the DM. Six players confirmed and two on the waitlist. Unite the Factions Unite the Factions is an online community based out of Southern Ontario, Canada. They are hopeful to return to in-person events this fall with Fan Expo, but currently only have online games. To access UTF, visit their website, link in the description below. Scroll all the way down and click Join our Discord server. Before you can access the rest of the Discord, you have to read and agree to rules found in the channel, Welcome. Once you've read through the rules, go ahead and click this emoji here. While I've never tried their games in game listings, or Monday Night D-Down, I have joined them for multiple epics. You may have remembered at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that epics are D&D Adventurers League's version of raids from MMOs. Epics are best described as multiple tables, with each table having usually five players each, of Adventurers League games being played at once, all striving towards a common goal. Let's say this goal is to stop an evil overlord from performing a grotesque ritual. Over here, you have five tables filled with high-level players trying to stop the actual ritual itself. Over here, you have 15 more tables filled with low-level to mid-level players trying to hold back the front castle of the gates from being stormed by minions hoping to rush through to the aid of their demented master. If these 15 tables holding the front gates fail, it's not necessarily a game over, but it can make things a little bit more difficult for their high-level friends. On the other hand though, if they are successful in holding the front gates, they'll have made things a lot easier for the high-level players. I've greatly oversimplified what an epic is, but with that, I hope we can get a general idea of the teamwork and coordination that's involved. All of UTF's epics are found in their Discord channel titled Announcements. Unfortunately, UTF's most recent epic, UTF vs Summer's End, ended two weeks ago. And the next one, Unite the Factions vs 2021, isn't due until December 5th. Their epics usually cost just $2 though to join, and signups are done through Warhorn. 
$2 payment is done via Warhorn as well. Just follow the prompts as usual. The only extra step is you'll need to pay before you can register for their event in Warhorn. Make sure when you pay with PayPal though, to not check out as a guest, or else they won't get the notification that you paid. If they're taking a while to clear your registration, even after the payment, go to their Discord channel titled Admins to help you. Here, give them your Warhorn name, if different from your Discord handle, and tell them that you've already paid and if they can clear you so you can start signing up for their epics. <sighs> that was a lot. On a closing note, all of these discords use Roll20 as their virtual tabletop of choice. So it's a good idea to start familiarizing yourself with that. I would like to thank the organizers of these discords for giving us wonderful AL games throughout 2020 and this past year. I hope that these communities will give you amazing memories like they did me. Are you a community organization or local hobby shop who runs consistent Adventurers League games? If so, I would like to hear from you. Please email me at my business email address located in the description below.